on hijab when I was about 12 years old. For me, I was excited. I was like, I'm doing this. This is for me. Like, you know, this is like about reclaiming, you know, my heritage and my religion, like outwardly, it's like a symbol. It's not only a scarf that covers my head, but also it's how I act and how I hold myself, that I'm like an ambassador of Islam. I think the idea that Muslims aren't a monolith is super important. Each individual's identity encompasses a wide variety of things, whether it be religion and faith, your career, your what your hobbies you have, what interests you have. I love art, I love painting, I love Lord of the Rings, I love Harry Potter, I love science fiction. Who I am is just like a mesh of things that's not like, oh, you're a Muslim and you also do that stuff? Like, no, I'm all of those things. Like, I can be all of those things. My family is originally from Afghanistan. My father, his father was a landlord. So when the Russians invaded, they took over my grandfather's land. So my father came to America as a refugee. I was raised up in a remotely small neighborhood called Newtown in Accra, Ghana. We moved to Chicago when I was nine. My parents came to Chicago because they wanted to seek opportunity. I don't know, I always liked Malcolm X. Leading on into Islam, it was like a strong feeling that I felt spiritually. I didn't tell my family that I was converting to Islam or thinking about converting to Islam. I don't think I did was kept it to myself. Journey is very important. We Muslims come from very different areas in the world, whether they're immigrants or whether they're individuals who have been born and raised in Chicago. Wherever you go, you, you take your identity on with you. My journey as Muslim was just maintaining who I am to stay true to my own beliefs and my Muslim heritage, even when there were a few others that I could actually relate with. I feel like I have a new knowledge of self, a new, new knowledge of understanding of other people as well. It's, it's, it's who I am now. Faith to me is everything. It's a moral compass on which I uh, go about my life. My faith is a always consciousness of Allah God and every action I take to think of God and that is my prayer. There's a certain coming of age in Islam where upon uh, all these different things like, you know, giving the charity, prayers, they become like, you know, required upon you that for 45 minutes a day, you're spending time to reflect upon yourself and what's going on in, in your life. Then you get to, you know, have that personal connection with God. Islam is peace. There's always a sense of bonding. There's always a sense of love and support that we have for each other that gives us motivation throughout our everyday life and it pushes you to be the best practicing Muslim you can. A lot of the times you'll hear about Muslims in the media and it'll either be an instance of, you know, misrepresentation or not enough representation. And I felt like an exhibit that is consisting wholly of, you know, Muslim experiences and like their dialogues, I felt like that was like a really authentic way to represent Muslims. And sharing stories of Muslims all across Chicago who shape Chicago in the unique city that it is, in the unique beautiful city that it is. Coming to this project, I didn't know any of the other interns who were working here. We have some individuals who are like from Edgewater area and like uptown, and we have like Pakistani and Shias and African Americans, and I want the whole community to understand who we are as a people. You know, Muslim is one part of our identity, but ultimately we have so many overlapping identities. We're not just like Muslim, but we're also Chicagoan. To have Chicago be the place where we all come together and knowing that Chicago is a Muslim city is very great. I hope that people see Muslims as being people that they can reach out to or speak with because there's a lot of ignorance around Islam. And so I'm hoping that this exhibition allows for that connection to be made.